Hi guys, this is Mike Bellinger with Commit to Fit for Life, your fitness lifestyle solution. We're going to get started today talking about how to begin your fitness program. Um, you've heard time and time again about how to go to your doctor first and get permission from your doctor and I really endorse that because um, we want the doctor to be really a partner in your fitness. We want him to be highly involved in knowing what's going on with your fitness. He also knows some of your limitations. Maybe you have some injuries, previous injuries, or you have some limitations with uh, blood pressure or, or anything like that that you may have, that he knows those specific things that you have in your personal um, makeup that may uh, require some adjustment and it may require some things that he wants you to be aware of. The other side of that too, he may know once you get into the gym, he may say, I want you to do this, 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 and that, because now that you're in the gym, you can work on some things. For example, somebody with type 2 diabetes who uh, a lot of times they're not active enough, he may have some specific things he wants you to do with your uh, fitness so that perhaps later on down the line uh, with good nutrition and exercise you won't have to have any medication or any insulin injections with type 2 diabetes. So um, having the doctor be fully aware of what's going on with you is going to be very important and very vital. Uh, the other aspect of this is safety. We want safety to be your number one aspect and number one goal in fitness so that we can do this for the rest of our life and we can continue to advance with that. So um, think about your doctor being your ally, your partner in, in your fitness journey and we want to really emphasize uh, having him be involved with that. All right. All right guys, the next part of your fitness adventure beginning your fitness program will be setting some realistic goals. And these goals should be goals that you get excited about, not a goal that you think you should have, which is a lot of times losing weight or just getting in shape. Those are some basic goals that are part of it, but I want those goals to also be exciting. Maybe you have a trip that you want to prepare for. Maybe you have a pair of pants that you want to get back into or a dress that you want to fit back into. Uh, some things like that that are exciting for you to do that are, you may have talked yourself out of it. Maybe you think, man, there's, there's no way I can do that. But I know that you can, and I'm here to help you do that and show you some things in how to uh, attain some of those goals. So the main thing is set those goals, get them in writing, uh, start a fitness journal also with that, with the goal setting, so that you can kind of track what's going on with your fitness. So those are going to be two things I want you to start right away is to start getting those realistic goals, writing them down, and start, um, start with that as far as your, your goal setting in, into your fitness. Okay guys, the third thing I want you to do in starting your fitness program is to get professional help. I want you to, whether it be a certified trainer like I am, uh, somebody who knows what they're doing within the gym, who knows how to start um, with the equipment, how to use the equipment, how to properly uh, use the equipment with good form, good posture, safety, and safety is always number one. So get that professional help. He's also, he or she is also gonna give you uh, the ability to um, start at the very beginning, building on a program, getting some things that uh, will help the, the muscle and the total body fitness advance without overwhelming the system. We want it to be very gradual, this gradual progressiveness, as opposed to something that's very overwhelming. So um, with that, the professional help is gonna give you a safe avenue to get from point A to point B in your progress uh, in this fitness journey. Uh, this is a journey, it is not an instant fix. I want you to think about that and enjoying every aspect of this fitness journey. I've worked with a lot of clients who, when we start this, it is gonna be a little challenging to the body. You're gonna feel that soreness. You're gonna feel those kind of things going on. But I want you to embrace that because that's at the very beginning of your training. And pretty soon, you're gonna actually look forward to those kind of days where you feel that little, that little burn or that little tingle after you've worked out for a while that your body hasn't, is not really used to doing. So this professional help though is gonna guide you through those phases um, of those beginning parts of your fitness and they're gonna do it in a safe way. All right guys, thank you for sharing with me on my YouTube channel. I'm glad you're here. I'm gonna to continue to give you this information as far as how to get started, plus the intermediate phase and the advanced phase of your fitness. You're gonna really enjoy this because I'm gonna challenge you in all different parts of that aspect and all different parts of that journey. Also, I'm gonna help you continue that journey throughout your lifestyle for uh, the rest of your life. Um, one of the things I want you to think about with fitness is not a temporary thing. Fitness is a lifestyle journey. 
And I want you to think about this as a journey for life and not a quick fix. So I'm glad you uh, took the time. I know your time is valuable and I'm glad you took the time to share with me with this. And if you like this, I want you to share it with your friends and I want you to like it. And um, we will see you next time at Commit to Fit for Life.